Well, hi there, folks. Again, this is Denny on Talking Turkey, and I'm at Lewis and Clark's, and today I want to talk about 22. There are a lot of different 22 pistols and revolvers. Um, a lot of talk going on that people need to have 389 millimeter, 40-45 for home protection or, or personal defense. You know, they say, this doesn't have stopping power, this won't stop someone from attacking you. But when I was a kid, I remember someone breaking into my house, and I was just a little boy, probably about five years old, but I remember hearing some thunder. And I woke up, ran into my mom and dad's room, and said, Mom, what was that noise? Dad, what was that noise? Oh, that was just thunder. But then I seen a man running down the street, screaming his head off, save me, save me, save me. And he was using the Lord's name quite a bit. But one thing that I found out many years later is that my dad had a little bitty 22 short that he brought back from uh, Germany when he was recovering from the Korean War. Let me straighten this out a little bit, make it look nicer. And he ended up shooting the man in the buttocks. Well... It was just a 22 short. And the man was a big man. He turned tail and run. Now, that helps me just with the argument, not with FBI stats or anything like that. That just helps me with the argument saying, 22 will stop you. Now, that was a little bitty revolver and one shot that made that man run down the street. Nobody wants to get shot. But, if someone's breaking into your house, is 22 going to stop them? Yeah. I mean, if they're on PCP or something like that, even a 9mm or a 40 or a 45, I've seen police officers shoot people five, six times and the guy keeps coming. But they're in a highly stressful situation. They're not getting center mass shots because I'm serious. You shoot somebody in the heart, Several times it stops beating. I don't care how many drugs they're on. They're going to leak out and bleed out. But a 22, these are known to fragment. So if you have high velocity in either one of these pistols, they fragment. And that's a lot of lead in someone's body fragmenting, hitting arteries, critical areas. Those persons are done for. Those people are done for. I mean, they have a better chance of surviving being shot with a 9mm or with a 45 or a 40. But, these 22s are the same size as a regular size concealed carry pistol. Now, for the elderly, this is great. There's no recoil. For someone who has fibromyalgia or neuropathy or anything like that, these are great. Bad arthritis, these are great. Very light trigger pull. And no recoil. I mean, my, my daughter, when she was seven years old, yes, seven years old, she was shooting a revolver, 22 long, no recoil whatsoever. I sold many 22s to a lot of people, and they could shoot them more accurately because of there being no recoil. These two are a straight blowback action, so there's even less recoil if there was a recoil. This Walter, excellent firearm, has no recoil. They both come with two 10-round magazines, and if you have one in the chamber, that's 11 rounds, and if you have another mag, that's 21 rounds, so I don't think anybody wants to be shot with 21 rounds. So, perfect capacity, plus they're cheap to shoot. If someone can't afford an expensive gun, they get into a $300 22, and I've seen 22 revolvers go for four to $500. I mean, I've sold them for four to $500. A lot of people today are on a budget and they cannot afford an expensive firearm. But for reliability 
22, you're not going to blow this barrel out. You're not going to blow this barrel out. You're not going to blow this barrel out in your lifetime. You're not going to wear the gun out. And you can practice and practice and practice until the cows come home and this thing is still going to shoot. One of them. I mean, you can get it in Smith & Wesson. You can get it in Ruger. You can get it in Versa. I mean, there are so many 22 brands out there. Plus, it's fun to shoot with the kids. You don't have to worry about too much recoil, and but you still use, need to use gun safety. These are very nice pistols. I'm not trying to show the price tag on them or anything like that. Let me drop this out and drop the mag. But for the money, you hold this, and it holds just like any pistol, has a nice little beaver tail, pretty decent sights, and when you learn to shoot one of these, they will keep you safe. Now I rattle on a lot, and I call this show Talking Turkey because I like to talk about it just about anything and everything. And people say that having a gun in the house is not safe because what if a burglar gets a hold of it? You have it by your bed when you're sleeping at night. You have it in a little lock box. You have it in a big safe. And then when you're carrying on it, you have a nice holster. Get your concealed carry class. Get your holster, practice on a regular basis, especially with 22. It's not a difficult round to shoot at all. Have fun and feel safe. Forget about what all the liberals are saying about guns, wanting to take the guns away. Even with a 22, you can protect yourself from a tyrannical government if our government keeps getting bad. You don't want them taking your guns. In all reality, you want to make sure that you have one to protect your kids. Because we all know, if you live in a city, big city, small city, even a small town, it takes the police 20 minutes to show up. By the time that bad guy comes through the door, he could have done some very horrible things to somebody in your family, and I don't want to see that happen or hear about it happening. I'm tired of hearing stuff like that happening. But when I hear somebody has a firearm and a woman who has three children, single mother, and she defended them and held a burglar or an intruder in their house at bay until the police come there because she was pointing a firearm at them, she didn't even have to shoot them, she still had it, and her kids were safe. If she would not have had that gun, what would have possibly happened? So for those of you who are like, I don't want to shoot guns, you know, they scare me, they're loud, and this and that, go shoot a 22 with a friend. Go try one out at a gun range. You will see that this is better, whoop, this is better than carrying a stick. It's better than carrying pepper spray. And most bad guys, when they see it, they run. If you want to answer me back, and you would like to discuss something on Turkey Talk, please message me and subscribe. I'm pretty new at this, but I've been selling firearms for a long time. I've been shooting for a long time, my whole entire life. I'm 50 years old. I'm not an elegant speaker. I'm a regular average Joe. So if there's something you want to know, or something you want me to bring up, 
or you want me something to have something that you want me to discuss and inform me on something, please subscribe. This is Denny signing off with Turkey Talk, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.